What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Stan of SJ Square Photography, bring you back another video today. Now, today, I have the 50 1.2 by Nikon. Yes, it is the 50 1.2. I have been dreaming about this lens ever since it got announced and now I finally have it in my hands. It's gonna be a first impression video. Now, if you watch my channel a lot, you know I love the 45. That is my absolutely favorite focal lens of most used focal lens. So therefore, when they came out with this 1.2, I just had to get my hands on it. So I finally did, thanks to lens rental. Rent Weekend is going to put this work in, so it's going to be my first impression. Of course, I'm shooting on the Z7 with the latest firmware, which is 3.4. Now, today's model is going to help me out with this. It's going to be Marissa. <laughs> yes, and if you want to work with all the stuff, it's going to be down in the description box below with a pop on the screen by now. Marissa, do you have anything else you want to say about this? Excited to see how good it is. <laughs> okay, you see her energy. We're going to go ahead and get right into this. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm going to give you a voiceover and just give you my first impression of the 51.2. Once again, I did rent this for the weekend that I had it and I had it for and I did a, quite a few shoots with it. So I'm just going to give you a little overview of it and just tell you how I kind of feel about it. Give my first impressions on it. Now, uh, as you can see right there just a second ago, it was kind of, you know, the focus was kind of off, went off in the background, but it's not it barely where that happens. The only reason why that kind of happened, as you can see, she turned around. So that's the reason why that, it kind of went walking, but as soon as she turned back around, it locked right on her face. Uh, once again, I am shooting with the Z7 with the latest up, update uh, firmware, which is 3.4, and I'm talking about that 3.4 just did wonders for the camera and the focusing system. So every single lens you put on this thing is absolutely going to be amazing. And the 51.2 is no different. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing. Like the focusing is just absolutely amazing. As you can see right here, I got a little bit close because I really want to try to see how close I can get with the lens and just kind of just see how this it's just blurred the background. Look at that, just gorgeous, gorgeous bokeh in the background. Nice, smooth, creamy. Uh, just go ahead and take a look at this picture right here. Look, just, just check out the bokeh. So look how sharp it is at 1.2, guys. Like this is at 1.2 and it is absolutely sharp. And the Z7 did absolutely amazing keeping up with that. And once again, I'm just doing some more things, trying to check out in the backlit situation. The focusing was good. Just want to kind of see how the, the, the lens render out again in the backlit situation. I thought it did pretty well uh, for what I just seen. Like I said, I'm not really a typical a good lens reviewer. I just kind of do and just tell you what I have used it and what I see for when I used it. Now I did have the 50G before. I uh, had the 50G, but I traded it in for the 45 uh, 1.8. And the reason why I did that because I was shooting with the DA50 and I just wanted to get some of the, the vibration control, which is the 45 offers by Tamron. So that's the reason why I went to the 45 and I absolutely love that lens. I have plenty of videos on that 1.5, on that 45 Tamron. But as far as that, I kind of feel like the focusing is almost equal. Uh, once again, I'm shooting, I'm just shooting portraits. I don't need it to be super blazing fast. No portrait photographer needs super blazing fast autofocus honestly unless you know until it comes to an action shot which i think i have an action shot coming up right after this photo but that's the only time you really need super fast focusing is when you're trying to do an action shot and then like i said this action shot coming up right here as you can see i have it a walk and as you can see it every time she turns it gets right on look at it the auto focusing on this is just absolutely amazing look how small it is it's further away as soon as her head turns it goes exactly but as soon as she get back in face the auto focuses catches asap now here's the action shot right now as you can see it kept on target and it was on sharp now of course the overlay of the aisle focus looked like it was at her cheek but it absolutely hit and it was on focus guys uh the overlay is still a little bit slower even with the new update it's a little bit slower but once again let's go back to the 51.2 now you really got to make a decision on if you really want to get this 51.2 because uh, you're paying a healthy price for it. I think it's about $2,200, $2,300 to get the 51.2, but you're really paying for the f1.2 aperture. So if that's very important to you, then go ahead and get it. If not, I would say go ahead and get the fit, get a 50, get the 50 Z lens that they had the 1.8 if it's not that important to you. Now, as far as me, I love Boca and I love the 50 mil. So I believe at some point in time, I will probably get it. Uh, probably on my own used market instead of buying it brand new. I get most of my gear on the used market. That's just kind of how I roll. So more than likely, I will probably get it eventually, but it will probably be on the used market. But I do absolutely love this lens. Now, the lens is pretty heavy. It's pretty big. But for me, it's not because I shoot with the Sigma 105. Now, as you can see right here, this is another hard just walking towards me test. As you can see, the autofocus and it's keeping up, guys. Like I said, the overlay is kind of slow, but it's absolutely hitting the target. It's not missing at all. 
and that's just her just kind of getting more uh, just kind of just getting it more kind of walking towards you because you, as you know most cameras have problems with the autofocus when you walk towards the camera uh, but anyway as far as this lens again once let me get back on topic here so yeah you just really got to determine and figure out if the 1.2 and that $2,300 is really worth it now I really do think it's really worth it if you don't have a 50 or a 45 or somewhere in that in that, in that range or the the 51.4 that I know that the core makes a 51.4 so if you already got those uh, I will probably say you know, don't get it. It just depends on if you really want a one two. If you really, really want a one two, get the lens because it's absolutely worth it. It renders beautifully. And I love the photos that came out of it. Here's another one right here. Once again, I did try to shoot that the thing at a 1.2. Uh, some of these photos that came in like a 1.6, that's because I was too busy turning the little aperture ring that you can program to have aperture ring on the lens by itself. So I was actually turning that sometimes. That's why you have the 1.6, the 1. Point, all that crazy stuff that I have, just because I was just doing it by accident. Uh, now we went back in this little alleyway right here. Uh, this is all natural light. I think the last half of this is all natural light right here. Uh, once again, you can just see how it just, you know, it's a reason why it's called a 50 nifty, man. You can really just do a lot with the 50 nifty. That's why I love my 45, because you can just do a lot. You can get a lot, you can tell a story, and you can just do the thing, uh, and just do a lot with a 50. And with this 51.2, it's no different. Like I said, it's a well-made lens. The only downfall to it is that it's a little bit bigger and that it costs a little pretty penny. But honestly, if you look at the Canon, uh, it's a whole lot less than the Canon. And I think the 51.2 on Sony is a little bit cheaper. But anyway, I just, I just love the lens. So like I said, once again, I would suggest anybody that wants to buy it will try it out first. You know, go to one of these lens rentals places and try to rent the lens and see how you like it for yourself before absolutely going out and just purchasing that healthy price of the lens. Once again, this is my first impression video. I just want to kind of tell you what was my first impression through this video right here. I'm going to have another one coming out. Just going to kind of give you a final thoughts. And to be honest with you guys, I'm going to rent it again to even give you more of a final long-term review. It was just me trying to use it for, you know, I had this lens for four days. Now, once again, I'm just going to go ahead and just let the rest of this video go ahead and play out. Uh, just, just, just me and Marissa just doing some things. It's all this natural light, more action shot, more walking things. You can see right there again as the, it's just picking up for a further away distance. Uh, but if you like my content, please consider yourself subscribing and into the next video. You're looking Dabber. crusty, dusty, and a little musty. Nice okay. Nice and dabber there. My hair is looking very frizzy.